What is going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to the New Beginner Java Game Programming Tutorial Series, Episode 21. Now, I hate to say it, but I lied to you guys again, and I'm very, very sorry about that. Today, we will not be doing collision detection. But I have a very good reason as to why we aren't doing collision detection today. And that is because, when I was working with the code that we already had, I realized that I was passing variables along in a very, very bad way for game programming. And if we tried collision detection now, or for that fact, anything that we wanted to add to our game, it would be very, very messy and not very good. So today, instead, we are going to be working on a handler class. And the handler class is basically going to be a very simple class that allows us to pass along a bunch of different variables to anything that we want it to. It's going to make a lot of sense, it's very simple, and with this class we will easily be able to finish collision detection hopefully in the next video. So let's get to making the handler class. I'm going to put the handler class in my main package, so create a new class and I'm going to name it handler, like so, and we are going to of course create the constructor here, public handler, and the handler is just going to take in one thing to start, it is just going to take in a game object, so game, game. And of course, we're, we're actually going to need a private game object in our class. And we are also going to take in a private world object as well. And we're just going to have that variable in our class. Make sure you import everything. And we're just going to do this.game equals game. And yeah, that should be it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to create a getter and a setter for our game and world objects. And I'm just going to generate those through Eclipse like so. So we just have some get games and some set games as well as world. Then we are going to add four uh, kind of uh, methods of our own. Two of them are going to return int, so public int, and we are going to call this get with. And all this is going to do is it's just going to return game dot get with like so. And we are going to do the same thing for height as well, get height, and just make sure you return get height from the game class. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a little bit, don't worry. And then two more methods, one is going to return our key manager, so public key manager, get key manager, like so, and we're just going to return game dot get key manager, like so, and we're going to do the same exact thing for the game camera, public get game camera like so. Sorry, I'm typing on a different keyboard, and we will return game dot get game camera, like so. Make sure to import everything. And that is it for our handler class. For now, anyways, we are going to add a lot to this handler class in the future. Now, it seems like a very simple class, and it seems like it wouldn't make that much of a difference. But in reality, this handler class is going to allow us to just pass one object, a handler object, and allow us to access our game object, our world object, and any other thing that we need. So let's put this to use. Firstly, we are going to change up the game class. In the game class here, uh, right below our camera, let's say, we are also going to create a handler object, so a private handler handler, like so. Then what we have to do is right after we do our game camera here, I'm going to set handler equal to a new handler, and we have to pass in this because it takes in a game object. So now we have a handler set up. Next, we are going to change up the states. So head on into your regular uh, abstract state class, and instead of taking in a game object and storing a game object, we are instead now going to take in and store a handler object, like so. Handler, handler here as well, and of course we have to take in a handler as a parameter. Now, I know this seems very tedious, and it is, and I should have taught you guys this from the beginning, and I'm very sorry that I didn't. But trust me, this handler class, and make sure you import your own handle handler class, is going to make our lives much, much easier. Alright, so we finished up our state class here, and we've changed it. That means we also have to go into our game state and any other state that we have, and in the constructor, we have to take in a handler handler instead, and call the super method with the handler, like so. And in the menu state, or whatever uh, whatever other states you have, you have to do the same thing. Again, I'm sorry that this is very tedious. Make sure you go ahead and import your handler as well. So we'll do that. Import handler here, and that. Now, don't worry about all the errors right now. We're going to get to fixing them. Back in our game class, instead of creating the states with passing in this, the game class, we are instead going to pass in our handler object, like so, because we changed the constructors of the states. Next, head back on into your game state here, and instead what I want you to do is I want you to take where you set your world equal to a new world, I want you to do that first, 
and then right below it, we're going to do handler.setWorld, and we're going to set it to our world object. It is very important that you do it in this specific order. So all we're doing is we're do calling the handler set world method, which simply sets the handler's variable or object world equal to whatever we pass in here, so the world that we just created. So now world actually is equivalent to something, it's not null. Next, we're going to actually head on into our world class, and instead of taking in a game, of course, you guessed it, handler, handler, and make sure you change all the variables up here. And this dot handler equals handler. Go ahead and import that. Now, if you're using Eclipse, you'll notice that we have to change all these things that says game dot get game camera and all that. If you're using Eclipse, what you can do is you can actually do private handler equal set the name equal to game, and then do alt shift R with your cursor over game, and then rename it to handler again. Make sure you click continue here, it might give you a little error, and that will automatically replace all of the game variables with handler instead, that way they're named properly. Just a little shortcut. So anything in the world class that said game, change it to handler. All right, that's it for the world class. Now we're gonna head on into the entity class now. You guessed it, instead of storing in a game object, we're just going to store in a handler object instead and take in a handler object. And this dot handler equals handler. We'll import that. Now the entity class is done, we're going to head on into the creature class, and instead we just have to change this. We have to take in a handler handler and call the super method with handler instead, like so, import it. And finally our player class, we have to take in a handler instead, handler handler, and call the super method with handler now, because our creature class now takes in a handler. Now, if you're using clips, we can actually use this trick again, because we have to replace anything that says game now with handler instead. So if you're using Eclipse, just hover over one of the games, click uh, Alt-Shift-R, and then change that to handler. And that'll get rid of all your errors, and it'll rename everything that has game to handler. Now our player class is done. Finally, back in our game state here, instead of passing in game to our world and player, we have to take uh, pass in the handler object. Great, that should be everything. If you go ahead and run our game, everything is exactly the same. Notice how I updated my art, by the way. It's still not good, but it's better than it was. And it works the exact same way, and that's because we didn't actually change anything. We just, instead of passing game along to everything, passed in our new handler object, and we're going to add to the handler class in the future. And we already did today. Like, the handler now holds more than the game. It has the game and the world. And that is very important, because in our creature class here, we are going to be handling collision detection, and we need access to the world in order to do that, which we can now obtain from our handler class up here. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I know it looks like we did absolutely nothing today, which we kind of didn't do much today, but it will help us a lot in the future. Trust me on that. Anyways, I'm back making videos. Hopefully, I'm not going to make any promises. The next video will be on collision detection. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.